Hello class, good evening. Can you listen to me? Hello? Hello guys. Oh, listen? teacher. Hey, how's it going? Can you listen to me? Yes, I listen. Great. And um, well, welcome. I can see we are as of now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five connected plus myself. So it's almost eight. We're about to start and thank you so much for connecting on time, okay? We're going to wait for just a couple of minutes to we'll get started. Hey, how's it going, Maria? Stella? I can see Hi, you. Teacher. How's it going? <laughs> okay, great. I'm glad. I'm glad I can see you as well. I can see there is uh, one more connected, I think, or one extra here. Great. Jose Vela is just connecting. Nice. Let's see, people are connecting. That's good. All right, so welcome guys. It's nice to see you. It's our first session. I know you got many expectations. You got a lot to give, a lot to ask, a lot to practice, okay? So welcome. Uh, my name is Armando and I'll be your teacher for this course. And thank you so much. If you are able to turn on your camera, I can see Maria, Jenny and Maribel, right? So thank you so much. I appreciate that, okay? I can see Alejandra is also there. A Jefferson is just joining, okay? So welcome. So how are you doing? How's your, um, how was your day? Monday, <laughs> how was it? Very easy. Easy, <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> oh, busy. It was busy. Busy, very busy. And how about the 2022? How is it? How is it going so far? So serious, guy. Come on. This is a, I know we're not going to see each other like face-to-face uh, -face or in person, but let's make of this environment a moment of practice, okay? So when I hear you speak in English, um, I know you guys are intermediate already. That means that you speak the language and we're going to be working on that, okay? So tell me how, how was your day? How's everything so far? Today is the 17th of January. So basically it's 17 days after, you know, this year has started. So I want to know, you know, uh, about you. This is our first time. I can see we are 13 connected, okay? So that's really good. So let me start sharing my screen. Give me just a second, please. And in case you cannot listen to me, please uh, let me know, okay? All right, can you see the screen? Yes, I see. Great, okay. I can see, so welcome. Online teaching, online classes, okay? I can see, All right, very good, let me just change. 
Here we go. All right, so our first activity for today is we're going to get to know each other a little bit, okay? So as of now, let's see, there are many people connected and I want you to say hi. I want to uh, get to know you a little bit, you know, your expectations. Uh, maybe you want to say something additional about yourself, briefly introduce yourself. And like it says here, expectation about this course. Okay, so I want everybody to participate on this activity because it's, a, it's our first time. So I'm gonna be giving time for everyone to participate. So who wants to start volunteering? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Me. All right, thank you so much. My name is Maria Stella. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, am, I am 54 years old. I work at the airport. And I want to say, um, Estela. Okay, so we want you to call yes. you Estela. You don't like Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. You know, uh, my expectation about this mm -hmm. tour is uh, is learn more. It's learn more. I see. That's awesome to hear. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that's that's the idea, right? To practice and to get more um, vocabulary right maybe some other things that we want to practice and that's basically the objective thank you so much yeah. stella for you know introducing yourself you're welcome glad to hear you work at a, at a at the airport you say right so i imagine you have to use the language from time to time right so thank you so much let's see we have more people here connected who wants to continue me thank you so much my name is Jenny Campos. I'm very happy to start the English class. Uh, my expectation about the school is to speak English fluently. Awesome. That's all. You are doing it already. I'm glad. I'm glad you want to continue to learn. That's really good. And what's your favorite name, Jenny or Lisette? Jenny. Jenny. So you like the first Jenny. one. Okay, nice meeting you then, Jenny. Okay, who's next? We are 18 connected, so we are missing like 16. Come on, who's next? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Hi, good evening. My name is Evelyn Mariela. I'm 29 years old. I am a logistic engineer. And I like to be proud call me Mariela. I don't like it. Uh, and my expectation for this story is continue learning English and improve my pronunciation. Awesome, okay. Thank you so much, Mariela. Thank you so much for you know your, your uh, presentation, for introducing yourself. And I'm glad to hear you are an engineer. <laughs> So, uh, you know, uh, my first career was about that. Actually, I graduated as a, as a technician and I, then I changed <laughs> to teaching, but then I imagine. So yeah, you're going to, um, well, we're gonna practice, okay? So we can also share some tips about pronunciation and stuff like that. So thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, okay so let's see who else wants to continue, guys? Who else wants to share? I can see many people with their camera on. That's really good. So who wants to go next? Go ahead, please. Thank you so much. Natalia. Or Emma, I don't know. Hello, Hello. my name is Emma Natalia, and I'm here because I want to practice my English. I want to remember many things that I forgot because I have been studying English for a long time before. And you can call me Emma. Sounds really good. Thank you so much. We're going to call you Emma then. And I'm glad to hear, right? Sometimes when we don't use the language, we tend to forget it. Or maybe we tend to get stuck a little bit when speaking. But then I'm glad to hear that you have already studied English. And now you want to um, maybe practice or remember, as you said, things that you might not uh, you know, be using, right? So thank you so much for that interest. You know, we're gonna, 
we're gonna do whatever is needed for us to keep this class, you know, uh, everyone involved. So thank you so much for that. Anybody else, guys? I know there are many. So raise your hand and, and speak. Thank you so much, Gustavo. Good evening for all. Um, my name is Gustavo. I'm 29 years old. I'm system informatics engineer. Um, uh, you can call me Gustavo. Um, my expectation for this course are uh, improve the speak skills and learn uh, some new vocabulary. All right, thank you so much. Definitely, Gustavo, that is the idea, right? To learn new things and to practice. Thank you for, for that. Anybody else? Now I can see everybody's here. Okay. Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Andrea or Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Andrea. Um, uh, I would like um, to learn more vocabulary to express better. Um, I like uh, 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 que me digan Andrea. All right, you like to be called Andrea. Good, thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to practice that, okay? And you have the blessing uh, of having this great access to the platform where you can practice a lot, plus the classes that we're gonna be having from, from Monday to Thursday, right? And that's gonna help a lot. So who else wants to introduce yourself? Me. All right, thank you so much. Jose, go ahead. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, hi, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here sharing this time with you. I am glad to be in the class. Uh, I want to, everybody here is, is going with, with one wallet on a specific call. Everybody wants to learn in, not, not and learn not only vocabulary, everybody wants to learn how to speak, and that's why we are here. So I think we have to make an effort and try to speak, even with many mistakes like I'm doing right now. But if we don't practice, if we don't speak, we are not going to fix that mistake days so it's a pleasure to be here and we are going to be here for one month so i think and you can call me jose peña you know either or, or both is all right oh nice you basically give us a lecture you know <laughs> of motivation thank you so much for your words you know that's exactly what i want to hear right we don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. We can speak. That's why we have created these uh, sessions for us to practice, right, Jose? So that is the attitude, okay? That's the right attitude. And let's, you know, take advantage of these sessions and let's practice, okay? So thank you so much for that. Anybody else, guys, who wants to introduce yourself? Uh, me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, my name is Cristina Mejia. I am 39 years old. I'm working to talk America, America's concert. Um, it's a, a better job. Definitely. They say, no, when you speak English, you can also uh, opt for new opportunities, right? And that's a skill, that's a tool that we can have. So yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you have that goal, you know, that common objective as we all have in this session. Anybody else guys who wants to participate? We want to get to know you guys. I don't know, do you guys already know meet each you. other or is it the first time that you guys meet? Uh, hello everybody. 
and my name is Jefferson and you can call me Jeffer. Uh, I am 23 years old and I'm studying civil engineering. And my expectation of this course is improve my vocabulary, my uh, grammar, and in general, my English level. Exactly, good. So you're gonna be the, the civil engineer, right? Who is gonna help us design our you know, houses in that future. All right, thank you so much. Who else wants to participate? It's me, teacher. All right, thank you so much, Javier. Javier, I think your mic is off. Javier, your mic is off. Hello, hello, Javier. Javier is- ah, so, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Javier, I see again, you- Again, I, Yeah, but again. I, I see you very inspired, but then I don't listen to you. <laughs> okay. Can you go ahead, please. Again, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Francisco Javier Rioa. I am 36 years old. I am a system engineer. I, uh, I work at Primar Santa Elena. And my favorite name is Javier. My expectation is learn fluent English. Want to be helped or assisted quickly? Go to Walmart, I mean, Price Mar Santa Elena, and then he's gonna help you out. Okay, thank you so much, Javier, for sharing. And of course, we'll have that the same objective and that's the idea, okay? We can practice and get better at English. All right, so thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else who wants to? Me to share. All right, Jose, go ahead. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jose Luis. Uh, you can call me uh, Jose. Uh, my favorite name is Jose. Uh, I work in the ONG uh, World Vision. And I have uh, 40, 43 years old. Uh, my expectation is uh, well, I, I, want, I want to learn uh, more uh, the, the language English. Thanks. Right, with that NGO, I imagine. So thank you so much. Anybody else? Me too. Uh, thank you, Melissa. Uh, my name is Melissa Alfaro. I am 27 years old and I studied marketing degree. And I work in Export Salva Free Zone. I am account manager and my, I have improved my English and grammar and my pronunciation. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Melissa. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much for sharing about you. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, good evening to everybody. Uh, my name is Reina. Uh, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I'm studying aeronautical engineering and I'm here because I want to improve my English and I don't know, just to learn. All right, thank you so much for sharing. So uh, we all want to learn, right? There's a phrase that I love, which says, never stop learning because life never stops teaching you. Okay, so we all want to learn. So thank you so much for sharing about you and your expectations. Anybody else who wants to share about yourself? Me teacher. Thank you, Maribel. Uh, my name is Maribel Pineda. I work in Exofield. Um, I live in Sierra Morena, Soyapango. Uh, 
Okay, so. Okay, so I used to work in Soyapango like a couple of years yes. ago. So good, good. Traffic, right? Damn traffic. <laughs> when you yeah, go yeah. to, you know, that by Molisa, all that area, a lot of traffic, and especially at the Rice Tower. So yeah, well, thank you so much for sharing. Is there anybody else who would like to participate? Anybody else? Thank you. Go ahead, please. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Go uh, ahead. My name is Armando Genaro Ramos. Uh, I work in industrial textile. Uh, you can. You can call me uh, Genaro Ramos. My expectation about this course is learn new vocabulary. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much for sharing, uh, Genaro. So your first name is like my second name because you say your name is Armando and my name is Jesus Armando, but you, uh, you like to be called Genaro and I don't like to be called Jesus because I think Jesus is too much for me. I don't deserve to have that name, you know, and especially when they say it to me in English because Jesus says, it's like, well, this is not for me. I remember one of my teachers used to just tell me Jesus, but then he said, no, you're not Jesus, you're, you're Jesus. And because Jesus is the only one, the almighty. And I was like, yeah, he's right, you know? So that's why I, from that time, I know I say, no, my name is Armando and I'm not gonna name anybody you know, after me. <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you so much Enaro, for sharing. Anybody else who would like to participate? Thank you Hello. so much. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, my name is Osman Serrano. Um, I am 42 year old. I am from in Sonsonate City. Um, I am uh, uh, I'm working in the Curacao, in Sales. Um, my expectation is a, a, a speak English uh, vocabulary. Um, poco a poco. Y bueno, um, I be, call me Hosman. Hey, nice to meet you, Hosman. Yeah, it's little by little, as I say, step by step. Okay, little by little, step by step, Hosman, you will be learning and improving, okay, your English skills. That's the idea. And thank you so much for trusting this program. I know it will work. I've been teaching with Insafor for a couple of years, and then I know, I know how I have seen how people have improved their English skills. Okay, so if I need anything from the Curacao, I'll go and look for you. <laughs> Actually, I live, I, I am from Susunate originally. So basically, you know, we might be very nearby. All right, so let's see, anybody else who wants to share, guys, who hasn't participated yet? Anybody? We're done, we have finished. I know some of you haven't participated, but then we might have time to get to know you later on. Guys, well, we're gonna get started with our first, uh, let's say, um, lesson for today. And maybe you have already seen the platform and, and everything, right? But I still want to go over some general aspects. First of all, uh, general like rules and expectation from me. <laughs> For you. Let's see, Gustavo, can you give me a hand? Can you help me to read the first two rules? Let's call it like that. Number one, active participation. Number two, clarify your doubts. Thank you so much. Clarify your doubts. Melissa, number three, number four, and number five. Melissa Alfaro. Raise your hand to participate. Use reaction in chat. Mute your mic when not talking. Thank you so much. Guys, from these uh, five rules, um, what else would you add? Or what would you remove or, or change from this? 
raise your hand please are we okay with this based on your uh, previous classes is there anything that you would like to add or change from this remember that this is just 60 minutes it's not much so we want to take advantage of the time right so is there anything else that you want to change or add are we fine I'm so sorry. All right, then participate, please. Participate, participate. You have questions, say, I don't understand. I want to hear more examples. So that's the idea, okay? And take advantage of the time. See, give me a second. Yeah. Let's move to the next slide. So I don't know if you have seen the calendar already, guys. But then we have, as uh, somebody mentioned at the beginning, we have four weeks. So in the first two weeks, we're going to be working on one, two, and three uh, sessions or sections, I think. And then we have a midterm test, right? And are you familiar with the passing score, guys? Are you familiar with the percentage required? Yes. Have you read this information? Because we need to pass, right? The idea is to pass this, um, this module or this uh, course, right? And then I would say, don't, don't go and don't try to hit the, the minimum. Go and try to exceed it. So let's say go for a nine, go for an eight, but no less than that, okay? And then the attendance and um, interaction on the platform, it has to be you know, 80 or more. 80% of more. So keep that in mind. Don't leave everything by the, by the end of the week because that's going to be, let's say, too much work for the very last day. I know Salvadorans, we as Salvadorans tend to be procrastinators, right? We leave everything at the very last minute, but then try not to do it, okay? Try to work on a daily basis. So, so that means one, let's say, um, session today, and then you can start doing your homework. Don't accumulate that for the end of the week, okay? So that's one uh, quick tip that I can give you. Don't do it at the same time for two reasons. One, because you're going to feel overwhelmed. Two, because if you do everything at once, you might not learn as you, you know, you might be stressed out. You might be so frustrated that you're not going to be learning as it should be. So please try to follow this calendar. Try to focus on the activities on a daily basis. And if you have questions, we have these sessions and we also have the WhatsApp group. Okay. Please uh, feel free to ask questions if you have any on the WhatsApp as well. Okay. I'll be try to be, I'll try to be attentive on that. And let's see what else. Well, um, so welcome. Session number one. I really hope you are ready, okay, to learn and practice. Let's see, um, without me going to the next slide, who has seen the first topic? What is it? Open your mic and talk to me. What is the first topic? What is it about? Raise your hand. Uh, to be honest, uh, I remember that it was by like the passive voice, but I'm not sure. Thank you so much for that. Yes, you are right. What else have you guys seen? What else? Hmm. Do you guys have access to the platform? Yes. Yes, do you? If you have the access, guys, please go ahead and access it and check it. If you access it before classes, like uh, synchronized classes, I bet you're gonna have many questions and you're gonna feel more uh, what maybe involved in the class. So my, um, let's say my request to you is to go ahead and try to see what this is about and then that's gonna be even better. Okay, so, Maybe you remember any expression from this topic or not? Raise your hand, please. I really want, uh, you know, to 
to help you on this, I can also suggest some extra, let's see, maybe listenings uh, based on the topics, guys, so we can practice. But I want you to help me by, you know, going over each link or each activity I assign. So let's get started with the first activity. And yes, somebody already mentioned what this is about. And let's see. Today's topic, I want, let's see, Jefferson. Jeffer, please read uh, number one, uh, point one and number uh, 1.4. Um, today's topic, <clears throat> it's really working. 1.1, passive width by 1.4, pronunciation. Okay, so thank you so much, Jeffrey. We have the passive with by. Let me ask. Let's see who I want to ask. Let's see, Javier, you are. What do you know about passive voice? What is it? Do you know anything? Sure, teacher. Okay, you understand. Okay, good. No problem. I I can see. Emma Natalia, what do you know about passive voice? I don't remember exactly no. what is that about. No problem. Let's see, Maribel Pineda, what do you know about passive voice? Passive voice, um, many, many lo he estado estudiando, pero todavía no lo tengo muy claro. Okay, let's see Jenny, Lisette. What do you know about passive boy? Uh, when, 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 is, when we don't know who did the action. Okay, I like it. I like what you're saying. Okay, it has to do with that. Good. Is there anybody else or anybody else who would like to say um, anything about your knowledge about passive voice? Mm -hmm. What else do you know? Maybe if you want to talk, use the chat. The chat is there. Okay, use it. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, we have Jeffer. Tell me. I remember that in passive voice, uh, the object receives the action. Good, good. I like it. Yes, the object received the action. The action. Okay, I like it. You know, I like that idea. What else do you guys know? Use the chat. I give you one minute for you to think about it. Try to recall what you have studied previously, and then boom, bring it to the table here. What is it? We have we have had two participation. They're really good. What is it and why do we have to study passive boy? Passive boy, we have passive boy in all, in all what are tenses, basically. We have passive boy in present, we have passive boy in past, we have passive boy in future, and we have it in present perfect, we have it in um, what, even in, in past perfect, in, even in models, but we have passive voice. So what is it then? When we use by, this is a way to identify that it's a passive voice. But now sometimes we don't use by and it is passive voice. Why? We're going to find, it, find this um, out, okay? Let's see, we're gonna get started. And we have first idea that I want to share with you. Let me ask you guys, what is past participle? Do you know anything about this? What is the past participle of the verb? Raise your hand to participate, please. Uh, 
All right, thank you so much, Angie. Was and where and is about the past and past participle is ing in the verb. Okay, so we have one participation. Angie is saying that was and where is about the past and then past participle is the ing form. Do we have any other idea or do you guys agree with Angie? Anybody else? Okay, it's not a problem. If you don't know, it's okay. So maybe if you don't know, you wanna say, no, we don't know. Or maybe uh, this is, I think, I think this is, you know, an idea, but then um, so we can, uh, you know, get to know maybe uh, deeper or a little bit more about it. Let me share with you an idea. Well, Angie already said that was where is the past of the verb, right? To be basically. But then uh, we have past participle. The past participle Angie and class is not ing form. The past participle of the verb is considered, if you have a list of verb guys, we have uh, first column, present and we have second column most of the time is the past and then the third column if it is a list of verb we have the past participle so basically let me send one example on the chat we have if the verb is eat the past is eight and the past participle is what is it eating it and very good or eaten there you go i send it to the chat if the verb is let's see what cook right uh the the past participle is what is the past participle cooked very good jenny cooked awesome and what about if the verb is play what is the past participle right played played. played very good with this sound right thank you so much and these are uh, regular verbs but then what about if we use irregular for example what is the past mm -hmm. participle of speed the past participle of speed is spoken speed like spoken. speed spoken. like when you are on driving on your car all of a sudden you speed what is the past participle of, of a speed this is speed. okay speed the past participle is a sped. Very good. Sped. Good. So the past participle is sped. And then what about by? What is the past participle of by? When you go to the to the when you go to what? To Price Mart or Walmart. What's the past participle of by? Bought. 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 Very good. We have bought. And how about the past participle of teach? When you teach somebody. Teach. Teach. Taught. Yeah. Taught, taught. Be careful not to say taught. It's taught, <clears throat> like T O T, taught. And then past participle of buy, bought, bought. Like there's no other word than only B O T. And then past participle of teach is taught. Now, why am I saying that? Because guys, when we want to use the bo the passive voice, we need to use the the, the past participle of the verbs. Okay. So if we have the past participle of the verb, and this is the third, the third, let's say, category from a verb, and then how do we use it? How do we use it? And then we have was, where, plus past participle. This is passive voice in the past. Mm -hmm. When do I use it? Any example? Any example with this structure, guys? Uh, for example, I can say, um, I ate an hamburger, and we, if I want to say that in passive boy, I will say an hamburger was sitting by me. Awesome. Wow, you got it. Thank you so much. Yes, that is correct. So we have, I am really glad for that example. And if you can share it on the, on the chat, I will appreciate it. Okay, we're going to start with this example. She just shared. Send it to the chat, please. About the um, the hamburger. And see. I ate an I ate a hamburger. OK, 
Okay. I ate a hamburger. And then what is the passive boy? And a hamburger. We say a ah, hamburger because is I mean, I know it's the letter H, but H is like sounds like a J. A hamburger was eaten by me. As you can see here, we have uh, the past participle of eat is eaten, right? So basically, why do we say was? Because <coughs> hamburger is only one. It's like our mm -hmm. it, the subject is it, right? If you wanna say, but in this case, the subject is singular and hamburger was eaten by me. Now, uh, somebody said this at the beginning, the object becomes our subject and the hamburger now is a subject. And then we have past participle, was eaten by me. This is one idea. What about if it wasn't only one hamburger? So what do we say then? What about if I say, I ate two hamburgers? So how do mm -hmm. I make the passive voice? Uh, the two hamburgers were eaten by me. Exactly. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now we're saying were eaten by me. Why do we say where? Because hamburgers is plural. <laughs> then we say where mm -hmm. were eaten by me. Now, I can imagine, imagine uh, that these two hamburgers were in your refrigerator. But then you don't want to blame anybody. And then these hamburgers were your lunch. When you open your refrigerator, there are no hamburgers. And then you start saying, huh. But then you, you might know who ate your hamburger, but then you don't want to say who ate your hamburger. So what do you say? When you don't want to mention who did the action, then the passive voice becomes our best choice. My hamburgers were eaten. I'm really mad. You see, mm -hmm. I'm not saying who ate my hamburgers. I'm just saying my hamburgers were eaten. I'm mad. I'm really mad. I don't want to talk to anybody. So basically, when we, when we use the passive voice, we, we have the option to mention who did the action or not. So basically, adding by and plus the subject is up to you, okay? So the passive voice, this is another idea. The passive voice is used when we don't want to say who did the action. We don't care who the doer is, okay? So then mm -hmm. our passive voice becomes the, the best choice, okay? My phone was stolen. I don't wanna say who stole my phone, but then this is the passive voice. Okay, so let's try to uh, go over some theory. But as of now, can anybody, based on what I have tried to explain and based on what you guys have already, uh, you know, given me, based on uh, Reina's example, I don't know if you would like to try to give me one example on the chat before I go over the theory and some other aspects, some other examples. Anybody? Maybe open your mic or on the chat. on the chat. I'll give you one minute. Try to create one example. So if we are 22, that means that I have to have 20, 21 examples on the chat. Try to create your <laughs> one, okay? Send it. You want to see if it's correct or if it's not correct based on what you have understood. My car was repaired. Yes, Javier, I like it. I did my friend's homework. That is active voice. But there, my bedroom was cleaned by me. Yes. Okay, Jeffrey, that's good. My wallet was stolen. Yes. Passive voice, you see, uh, the one that says I did my friend's homework, that is, that needs to be checked, okay? 
The book was written by my friend. Yes, Jenny. I'm Correct. Typing the passive. Oh, you are okay. I, I, yes, I try to do the two ways. All right, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got it. The book was written by my friend. Okay, keep sending them, guys. Keep sending. I wanna read them. <laughs> My friend's homework was done. Yes. Okay. There you go. My friend's homework was done by me. Mm -hmm. A dog was died. Mm -hmm. Okay. A dog was died. And who killed the dog? <laughs> okay. The dog was died. The dog, the dog was killed. Okay. Uh, what else? <laughs> you did. Okay. Okay, maybe you ran over the poor little dog you were driving. Okay, what else? <laughs> a dog was killed, you wanna say. Okay, and I did it, but I don't wanna, you know, don't blame me, <laughs> don't blame me. All right, so let's see. I can see we have some examples already shared, guys. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if you wanna still send more, some more examples, great. The cheesecake was made. Yes, Evelyn, that's good. Yesterday I was asleep. Mm. That one, Sylvia, yesterday I was asleep. Maybe uh, if you want to say that, then, then, it, then it'll be yesterday I slept at 9 p.m. Because was, in this case, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. I slept. It's an action that you did in the past, right? And then, yeah, maybe we need to double check that one, okay? Now, let's see, look at this theory. We have some here. Give me a second. What, what do we have here? Uh -huh. Let's see, there are some others, example. The sandwich was eaten by the cat, okay? Poor little cat. All right, so we have this theory and I need a volunteer to read it, please. Let's see, who wants to go over? The passive voice is used. Raise your hand, please. Only to read here. Raise your hand. I don't see any better raising. Maybe my internet. All right, let me choose one because I don't have much time. Okay, let's see, Jose Vela. Go ahead and read uh, these um, light blue part or blue part letters. Okay, teacher. Uh, the passive is used. Uh, number one, when the agent, the person who does the action, is of no important or obvious from the context. For example, Jane was shot. We don't know uh, who should who should help. Uh, example two. Uh, this house was built in uh, 18, 1815. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm okay. sorry. Yes, finish. I'm sorry. Enough, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right, so thank you so much. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Yes, I thought that you had already finished. So I just wanted you to read the first part, but then thank you so much for reading every, the entire you know, information here. Now, guys, if the agent is unknown, we don't know who the action, who, the, who is the doer, is unimportant or is obvious, then our passive voice becomes the best choice, okay? Okay, so Jane was shot. Okay, and then we don't know who who shot her, who you know shot uh, her. And then what about the second one? This house was built in 1815. And important, we don't want to, we don't really care who did it. We don't, we don't, we don't care, right? So basically, then the passive voice becomes the first choice, the first option. Okay, so can you give me an example, like following the same structure? 
when the agent is not important, when you don't, it's up to you to mention it. Look at this example. They haven't even said bye, bye, blah, blah, blah. So give me one example. Think about these actions where we don't want to mention the agent. The agent is basically the, the subject, right? Anybody? We have one minute. Uh, the window was broken. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you don't want to blame anybody, right? Maybe the little, I don't know, that your daughter, your son, or maybe your cousin or your, or your niece or your nephew did it. The window was broken, mom. Okay, and that's it. Okay, good. What else? Anybody else? One more example that you want to share with, with us? Maybe I want, okay, to take a look at this one. Let me choose one other volunteer. Not volunteer, very big team. So read this one. Number number two. Let's see Daniel Palacios. Read number two, please, and the examples. Now read the entire information on the screen. When when the action is more important than the the item, as in the present instruction, events, report, Hellenish news. And uh, Albert Simon sample. Um, what is the center? 16. 16. 16 people were killed on the shooting across Chicago between Friday and the Monday morning. Exactly. We don't, in this example, uh the action because of its nature of this example the action is the most important 60 people were killed in the shooting okay this is more important than anything else so we use the passive voice okay so when do, does this happen in processes instructions event report headlines like on the news headlines the news items and advertisement you know, when the action is more important than anything else, passive voice becomes the best choice, the best option, okay? So think about those actions where we don't care who the doer is, we just want to highlight the action itself. Can you think about one example and try to follow the structure? Passive voice, it is, uh, pass of, of third to be, and plus past participle, it, because it's the the past passive voice. But it's, if, it, if this was the, the present, then it would change. But now we're just focused on um, passive voice in the past. So give me one more example, guys. Think about one positive example. If you haven't understood this, please raise your hand and uh, we can see what Today is a grammar lesson, guys. I want you to participate, please. Ideas. 20 are listening. <laughs> I want to want to see 20 examples on the chat. Uh, uh -huh. all, all the students were reading in the classroom. Hmm, interesting. If I say all students were reading in the classroom, what do you think? Is this passive voice? Let's take a look. All students, let me send it. All students were uh, reading in the classroom. All right, help me to read this, please. Take a look at the chat. All students were reading in the classroom. Is that passive voice? Let's analyze it, okay? No, it is not okay, but I'm not sure about the 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 very past part people of read. Oh, red. But then if we say red, does it make sense? Try to let's try to analyze. Maybe um 
all the students were reading uh, what? Let's mention a book or something. For example, all the students were reading the new math book. The new okay. math book was being read by all the students. So in that case, maybe we can say it, but in this specific one, we cannot say red because it won't make sense as, as it is there. Let's take a look at the next one. Uh, the, offices, the offices are clean at night. I like that one, Wendy, because it is passive voice. However, your example is on the um, passive voice in present. What exactly? Now you change it. Yeah, um, okay. Where you can still say that you can still say we're we're like we're clean or yeah. are cleaned. So if the idea is to speak in the yeah. present tense, you wanna say are cleaned. But if the idea is to speak in the past tense, you can say where. So basically, passive voice can be used in present and it, it also can be used in past. And even in, even in future. Okay, so I still want to mention one more idea because uh, this class is just an hour and I have only like five minutes or less. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. This is based on the, on the class, on the book, on the platform, on the video. See what we have here. Uh, we don't know who did the action. Number one, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go over this because of time. There's such there's a message on the chat. Five people were built. Hmm, Christina, Sylvia Christina. Five people were built a house. What exactly? We need to double check this one. Okay. Also, guys, when you create your example, I I don't this is something very important. Try to see or try to think about what you want to say. Okay, because when you have clear what you want to say, then it's easier to, to create this, the structure that we need to communicate the idea. In this case, Sylvia, five people were built, in, built a house. Maybe we want to double check that one. Five people. Uh, we don't want to mention who did the action. Okay, so let's see how we can make that correction. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you can say a house was built okay and then we don't know and you can say by five people but it is up to you to mention the five people okay and people without the s okay maybe that one and then we have uh the parents where bought the groceries mm, that one angie needs to be double checked maybe the groceries the groceries were bought Think about when the object becomes our subject and it receives the action as somebody said at the beginning. So change that order because if you see the parents were bought, you are mentioning the parents and that's the subject. And then we need to use the active voice. Okay, the parents bought groceries, but nowhere bought. Let's see what else we have here. The toys were stolen. That one is okay, Evelyn. That one is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, last idea, guys. I know we have like uh, three more minutes. So we don't know who did the action. My house was broken into on Friday. Okay, who broke into our house? We don't know. Okay, we don't know. So broken into means when somebody gets into your house and then uh, he doesn't, he or she doesn't have the key to enter. So he or she basically, you know, open or break anything or whatever is needed for them to get in. So broke into is a synonym of a stealing, right? Uh, when thieves go in and get your stuff. All right, what else? Uh, number two, guys, number two, take a look at this. And then I'm gonna give you one minute for you to give me, you know, or ask your questions. There is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. What about this one? Okay, earthquake, you know, it happened. We don't know who did the action. Basically, there's no uh, anybody who you can blame or say he or she did it. So in this case, we have passive voice, okay? And the last idea, the fact is more important than the doer. We have already mentioned this and the dog was run over by a car. 
okay? The dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the, than the doer, okay? So that's basically the passive voice. I want to know, guys, as of now, there have been many uh, examples given, but what have you understood or what, because uh, tomorrow we're going to take um, the same idea to keep practicing, but I want to know what have you understood or what example can you give as of now? It's been like this. Uh -huh. Raise your hand. What have you understood? New topic, easy topic to understand, or what can you say? Your face is telling me, I don't know what this guy is talking about. Okay, come on, tell me, tell me, talk to me. Any example? Um, more or less, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe I will. I thought maybe. it's a difficult topic and we need to practice a little more. Okay. Promise tomorrow we're gonna to start with practicing this, but I want you to watch the video on the platform and see what else you can investigate so we can make from this experience, you know, um, productive, okay? Anybody else? Any other idea? Today I talked a lot. Tomorrow I won't speak. I will let you guys speak the most, promise, okay? And then anything else? Okay, don't be, don't be sad, don't be shy. We are alive, we have to be grateful. We're about, I have another class at nine and you guys gonna go to sleep, you see? So chill, see you tomorrow. It was nice seeing you today. Try to rest as much as possible and do homework, okay? and behave. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow, guys. See you. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.